wouldn't be surprised. Ike was kind of caught too by some of the uh, messages and content that they had in it. One parent on the Hamilton Southeastern School Board is raising concerns tonight over a book on a summer reading list. Good evening. The book was part of a summer assignment for an advanced placement course at Fishers High School. 24 Hour News 8's V Win joins us now from the newsroom with more on what she's learning about the book. V? Yeah, Dave, the book in question is The Kite Runner by Khalid Hasseni. It's fiction, a story about two boys, their friendship and their life growing up in Afghanistan. And some parts of the book can be very graphic, which caught the attention of a school board member after her daughter had to read the book. But not everyone we spoke to today shared her concerns. Some students at Fisher's High School spent the summer reading a best-selling book that has been the center of controversy in the past. For AP literature, we read the book uh, The Kite Runner. I can't remember the author, but it was one of the mandatory books we had to read over the summer. Ben Clark is a junior at Fisher's High School. Well, I thought it was a good book for the most part. I mean, there were a couple of graphic scenes. Some of the graphic scenes in the book include a rape of a young boy. Andy Clark says she and her family listened to the audiobook during a drive to Atlanta for a baseball tournament. We did ask, is this real? Is this true? And to be honest, my husband and I didn't know. We had to look it up to see if this was based on some factual story or if, you know, this was just something made up. So She has four children and says the book started a conversation among her family. It's awesome. I mean, how often do your kids read a book, even at school, and come back and say, oh, hey, mom, I read XYZ, and let me tell you all about it. I mean, yes, sometimes, but... This is something that we all experience together. The experience of the book for one student was brought up at a school board meeting last week by a board member. Amanda Shera told me off camera she would like to see more options on the summer reading list so parents can discuss the choices with their kids. Just because of the level of the class and I think like the people in the class are mature enough to read the book overall, even with the graphic scenes in it. Some students say they didn't find a problem with the book. You should be mature enough to read it, and they're exposing you to this because it's supposed to be a college class. Now, keep in mind, students had an option this year to not read the book and to do a different assignment. The school board member says next April, the policy committee is going to request the summer reading list from different department chairs. Dave? B, what did the school district, if anything, have to say about all this? Yeah, so the district says at this time they have not received any formal request or complaint to drop the book. A spokesperson tells me the AP teachers picked the book for this year's reading list. They get together every year to go, go over and decide which book to pick as part of the process of the college board.